Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to 3D model a bolt in four easy steps. For this tutorial today, I'll be using PTC Creo, but the process should be pretty similar no matter what modeling program you decide to use. So here's the dimensions of the bolt that I'll be making today. It's an M3 bolt with a cylindrical head and a hex socket. I'll post these dimensions somewhere, but uh, you should be able to get the rest of them just following along. So let's get into it. This is what the bolt should look like when it's complete. Uh, as you can see here, four features, pretty quick and easy. Um, so I'll start from scratch here. The new part, M3 bolt. So I'm going to start with a cross section of the bolt and revolve it around so i'll make a revolve feature it wants us to pick a plane for placement so i'll just pick this one doesn't really matter for the first one get into the sketch view here i'll start drawing out the basic cross section of the bolt what's nice about Creo is it'll automatically pull up the dimensions afterwards and then you can just edit them. Um, go around here and edit all these dimensions quickly. Alrighty, so we've got the basic outline of the bolt here. Need to add in a center line for this cross section to revolve around. Middle click and OK. And now as you can see there, we've already got the basic body of the bolt already coming along. Next, I'll add in a quick chamfer on some of the edges. Um, I don't know what the actual specification is for this, but I'm just throwing it in there to make it look a little better. Just a quarter of a millimeter chamfer. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to add in the socket on the top here. Um, so I'm going to extrude out of the top, click on the top face, sketch. Um, if you really want to, you can draw out the hex on your own, but Creo's got a nice feature here where I can go into the palette, and then I can just click six-sided hexagon, drop that in there. Click OK. For the drawing that I provided, um, I defined this hexagon a little differently, so I'll go over here and put a dimension between these two lines here and delete the dimension that I don't want. Um, and for this part, it's 2.5 millimeters. That's all you have to do for that. Click OK. Um, based on the drawing, I know that the socket is 1.5 millimeters deep on there. Cree automatically knew that we were cutting. Click OK. So now most of it's done, and just the last thing we have to do here is add in the threads, which is probably the most complicated part. So to make threads in Creo, you need to do a helical sweep feature. Click on that. Go over to References. And we need to define a helix sweep profile. Um, so we want this plane here, sketch. So the sweep profile that we need to make is basically the line that the threads will be traveling with. So we know that the threads will be along this entire length of the bolt here. So we'll just have to make a line going from here down to the bottom. So I'll reference this edge here and then add in a line. And it's this arrow here means that the threads will start at the bottom and twist all the way around up to the top. Click OK. Um, oh, I forgot to add in a center line. Uh, we also need to add in a center line like we did previously so that the threads know what they're spinning around exactly. 
Okay, so if you've done that correctly, this box here should pop up, and that'll allow you to edit the cross section of the bolt. So I'll drop the cross section here and then get back to you guys. So now I've got the cross section drawn here. That's all you need to do for this stage. Click OK, and then now, as you can see, the threads wrap around all the way up to the top along this line that we defined earlier. Um, so these threads are spaced out a little bit too far, so I'm going to decrease the pitch down to 0 0.5 like I had in the drawing. And there you go. Uh, this option here will allow you to pick between left-handed or right-handed threads. It doesn't really matter for this demonstration. You just change that for whatever you need. Then you click OK. And now the part is done. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave some feedback. I'll plan on making more of these kinds of videos, so anything helps. Thank you.